Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Dave the Diver. Now last time we uh, did a few extra bits, we knocked out a few quests and we now have another one to go beyond the rock pile. So we're going to do that today. Now uh, I believe, oh my, my control is not working, that's not a good start. Ah, now we're working. Excellent. Right, okay. Let's uh, see what's going on. Uh, his package hasn't arrived. Yes, okay. Right, yeah. Oh, got it. Now, I remember. Huge blue squid, giant squid. Oh, great. Anything can happen down there. We've got a gun, our basic underwater rifle, and our harpoon gun, which has been upgraded. We want to upgrade a few other things, and we do have a large gold bar, which we can actually sell at the Cobra shop. So that's going to give us something. We've got oxygen capsule, a long distance underwater scooter and a gun enhancement kit, which does increase our gun by level. Is that a temporary thing or a, an actual thing? Well, that might be something that we can... Let's buy that now and then we'll sell this gold bar. That'll give us a nice amount of money. Excellent. Cool. Right, there's some other stuff we can sell at the Cobra shop as well, just to clear out some of our inventory. Now, we've got a few other things here that are used for now this is probably worth a fair bit of money it says so we'll sell that and i think everything else that we shouldn't be selling is kind of marked up and we've got a basic underwater rifle there which is equipped now i could use my gun enhancement on that but i'm not going to we're actually going to put our gun enhancement kit do we have does it stay in our inventory i'm not sure well we're going to dive uh, today's mission is to go beyond the rock pile so that's going to be our, our start for the day, and I think that is a little bit further down. We are on the hunt for the sea people. Still continuing along with chapter one, so yeah, it's been a while since I played, and you've, you know, uh, videos were, you no know, trying to get them out as uh, quickly as I could, but it hasn't been possible. I've been very, very busy, so uh, that has uh, made things a little bit difficult, but anyway, we're going to try and get beyond this rock pile. I don't know if we can. We'll take a shock harpoon tip. That's uh, good going for us. We'll just dodge these jellyfish. No, I don't want to return to the boat. Leave me alone. Let me do my thing. And uh, yes, now, I... there we go. That's the speedy one. I can't remember some of the controls. It's been that long. Right, we are going to carry on down here we've got no two tank there and some other weapon but there is an eel guarding that so we're just going to be very mindful of that and uh, one of these big guys here better be careful of that we're going to go and grab him actually shaky 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 on the stick you can probably hear that as well but we have now caught a titan trigger fish that's pretty good there's some ammo there we've got a blue seashell got another titan trigger fish they seem to be the lime fish seems to be leaving us alone which is good and uh, further down into the depths, there's some something there. What's this again? Glass. Okay, this is all good for upgrading stuff, so we're going to grab them. Oh, oh no. Can I get down there? Let me go. Stop, stop. Take that brown seashell. Right, go quickly, Dave. Quickly, quickly. Get us in there. Excellent. Right. We'll open this crock pot because this will have some seasonings in for us. Turmeric. Excellent. Right, I can quickly grab whatever's in this box before I blow away. It's, oh, okay, it's one of them. We'll come back for that later. That'll be useful. And uh, moving on, we're going to get pushed down here. It's quite frustrating, but we can uh, grab this stuff, which I think is lead ore. Again, usable for our upgrades. Oh, no, we're getting at around all over the place. Now, I'm going to grab pink seashell and some more of that lead ore, and then we'll see what's in this weapon box. That is a red sniper rifle. We'll take that. And that's our basic underwater rifle down there. Now, again, we'll grab all of this stuff. More lead ore. Got to be very careful with our weight. We're not doing too badly on that, actually. Uh, that's going to blow us out. But, ooh, what have we got here? Silver bowl. Excellent. Right. As soon as we get an opportunity to, we're going to head back on up there. Get caught in here. That's good. Then that should give us enough of an opportunity to get through. Can we squeeze through this little gap here and get back out? No, we can't. We'll have to wait. All right. We're looking pretty good, though. Uh, the shop, I think, is pretty well stocked. That's going to carry us out. Excellent. And we get that glass there. Now we've got some squids. We're just going to dodge through them. And if we can get beyond the rock pile, I don't know if we're actually able to. I th um, I think we might need to upgrade some equipment, but we'll, we'll try it anyway, just for the sake of this quest and this mission. Luckily, we're not being... Right, okay, what have we got here? Try placing one of the bombs Cobra gave you on that rock pile. Oh, bombs. Where are my bombs? Did I actually bring them down here? Must have done. We must be able to just... Yeah, we can. We can just place them. Quest items. So that's good. 
All right. Yep, we're all good. <laughs> back away, back away. Oh no, where have you come from? Is he going to leave me alone? He's going to come straight for me after this, isn't he? Okay, no, it's good. Let's go inside. An amazing scientific discovery for you guys, but poor bloody Dave. Oh, a new region. Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. This is impressive. I really like this. The game's got so much depth to it, a lot more than I expected. Oh, hello there. Who are you? The Sea People Record Chamber. Yeah. Definitely see people's civilization in this region. The mural. No human could have painted that so deep underwater. Maybe these are from some ancient civilization that sank from seismic activity. Seismic, 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 seismic. A good point, but that style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Please first investigate this place. All right. We've got some strange looking underwater mushrooms there. And obviously we've got a couple of things here. Can't be a natural pillar. Mysterious characters engraved on it. And then over here we obviously have this huge mural. A warrior or a king, it looks powerful. There seem to be scales on the lower body. Is this really a mural of the sea people? Well, I think it is. And then down here we seem to have, they look like whales or dolphins. Painting of dolphins and marine plants. Apparently the sea people could draw, not only write. It should be enough. I would like to research a little more, so please take a photo with the camera that I gave you. Um, how do I use my camera? We come up here then. Is this going to let us... Is this just an interactable? It is! Okay. Right. New content. Camera. The camera icon indicates that you can take pictures. Check your objective on the top left. Use A to adjust the focus and remove your hand to take a picture. Make sure your timing matches the green indicators. Oh, we got it. Main target, camera focus. Ancient Sea People mural. Uh, let's retake it. It doesn't look like I've actually hit any of those goals. Ah, uh, okay, right. So the green circle means you have succeeded. Okay, we'll try that again. There we go. Whoa, that's bright. But we got it. Yeah, we got the Sea People mural. That has now been taken. And the, oh, yes, it's another Sea People artifact. We're going to go down and grab that. Something's going to come out at us, surely. See people artifacts. Oh, we've got some sounds. Indecipherable text and talking. It's the sound from before. What could they have written? Nobody... No, they didn't hear anything over the radio. Okay, come back up to the boat for now. So, on my journey back up, uh, we're going to grab some fish and we're going to be ready for our evening service. Unless we get, like, another... You know, another text, another text, another um, <laughs> another uh, quest of some description that we have to fulfill in the evening. But we leave the record chamber for now and start making our way back up to the boat. And uh, yeah, a uh, lot of fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. It's nice and cosy. It's exactly what I'm wanting to play at the moment. I know a lot of you are probably hoping for new content for Planet Zoo and all of that. But I just I really do not have the time at this moment. Ah, get away from me. Not you. Go away. Yes. Got him on the run now. Yes. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. You're coming for service later on. Got you again. Yes. You're mine. Great Barracuda. They were actually pretty popular in the restaurant, so that's something that we can uh, certainly make use of. And then we can try and get a few more fish on our way back up. We've got some new ones here by the looks of things. Don't know what they are. We'll have them. Ooh, again. Ooh, these are going to be tough. They aren't giving up without a fight, are they? And I'm a little bit too far away, so we'll go for another another slice of that apple pie. There we go. Right, we got them now. Excellent. A harlequin hind. Little events and stuff do keep it uh, busy, uh, which is really nice. What are you? Am I going to be able to get them? No, I'm going to get another harlequin. Get the last one here from this little school here nice there we go right now let's move on we've still got about 10 kilograms left in our weight limit so we'll start making our way back up there's another barracuda there 
that I'm going to go for, but we can grab some of this seaweed. Uh, kelp. Kelp, seaweed, same thing, I guess. Yeah, surely. And uh, we'll grab some more seashells and stuff. There's some more oxygen there if needs be, so we'll take on this next barracuda. Missed. That's not good. I'm a bit rusty on the controls here. There we go. Right, luckily they're a bit slow. We'll go again. Get ready to... You can probably hear that in the background. My mic's probably picked that up. So my apologies uh, for hearing the frantic faffing around. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, three kilograms left. So we can probably pick up a few extra items on our way back up. That might be useful. So we'll grab this. We'll just dodge that puffer fish there and watch out for the sea urchin because I don't actually have the ability to pick those up. Down here, we're going to grab what's in there. It's another underwater scooter. And we'll take this copper. I think it's copper. It is copper. Yeah, we need to continue doing some upgrades and stuff to our weaponry. Uh, and ideally, I want to try and get as much as I possibly can upgraded in these early phases. In particular, Dave's weight limit. Now, we could go for the shark again, uh, but I don't actually think we'll be able to bring that one up. But yeah, increasing our weight limit is going to be key. We have another staff member, so we need to make sure that our um, sushi restaurant is making enough money to cover our costs. So that's something else we need to be mindful of. And uh, a cheap Japanese sword, which we'll grab. And then down here, some more copper ore. Excellent. I think that's going to be a, a good haul for us now. We are at our weight limit, so we can get ourselves back up to the surface now. We're not far from it, so that's pretty good. And then uh, we'll go back to our... Well, actually, we've got the evening dive to do now, so we'll do that. We'll put everything in. We'll maybe set up our menu and see what the next steps in the Sea People quest is. So I hope you're enjoying it. It's nice and relaxing. If you do stick around for the whole video, I, I'm massively appreciative of that. Uh, that's uh, really nice to see. Obviously, it's different from what we usually do on the channel, but it's nice. It's relaxing. Dave the Diver is a pretty simple game. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't really get hectic at any points unless you're an idiot like me who can't control it. But anyway, um, we've got to analyse the artefact and the mural at the lab. So Dr. Bacon's off. And, of course, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll maybe sell some stuff to our friend here. Oh, is this a tour? Oh, no, protesters. John Watson, you heard an explosion in the sea. Uh, oh no, it's because we blew up the thing. Right, they track down people who pollute the sea and report them. And sometimes he carries out justice himself for those who commit particularly evil deeds. John Watson's hench. Look at him. Look at those muscles. Uh, we aren't... Uh, we aren't... No, it wasn't us. I, I am grateful for the sea. You watch me all you want, John Watson. I like that little... Uh, the two fingers. <laughs> John Watson's keeping an eye on you, Dave. Yep, he was creepy. Cobra. Yeah. Oh, do they? Ah, okay. Environmental terrorism, is it? We'll not be having any of that. Well, you know, we, we've gone beyond the rock pile. We've unlocked 33% oh, of that red sniper rifle. I forgot I should probably be doing that sort of stuff. But we have got some fish. we got quite a bit of fish there. The Great Barracudas, the Titan Triggerfish, the Harlequin Hind. And uh, then we've got our Turmeric and our Kelp. So that's going to set us up nicely for the evening. We're going to go to our shop now. And we're going to sell these silver bowls. We'll sell all three of them there, Cobra. And I think that's that'll do us for now. Everything's looking pretty good there. What? Right, right, let's have a look at Dave. What can we do for Dave? We've got weapon shop stuff. We can still... We're still way off these. We can craft the hush dot, which is going to tranquilize fish. Uh, but nothing that I really want to get yet. So, Hookster, how are we looking over there? Our reputation's pretty good. We can rank up, I think. Yes, we can. We'll rank up then. Uh, so let's get rated there at the restaurant. We'll do that tonight. At say, we, we won't be able to do the uh, evening dive, but I'm pretty confident with how we're looking. So we'll get a new rating and see if we can rank up. What's going on now? Oh, these two. Hello there. What are you inspecting? Put that fish down. We need to serve that. Hey, we got our rating. Oh, so can I do the evening dive? We've unlocked new recipes. The moray eel curry, striped red mullet tangle roll, and white trevally kombu 
Ochazuke. And we've also unlocked some, oh, more wasabi, more serving staff, another cooking slot, more interior, excellent. Okay, right, this is good. This gives us a lot to work with in the restaurant. So before I uh, go back for the evening dive, which I didn't think I would do, we're gonna be able to do a little bit more stuff in terms of our research. So uh, we can research new menus, obviously. Uh, we've already understood that. I'll go for the Murray eel curry. We'll research that. And of course, our man here, Bancho, is going to do his meditation and his chopping and his unlocking. I love these little animations, these little cartoons. I think they're great. Bancho's such a cool guy, though. Look at that. And we have unlocked one, and we'll get another one. Let's go for the uh, striped red mullet tangle roll. There we go. Nice and easy. That's now unlocked. We can now hire another staff member. So let's see if we can... How do we do this again? Oh, we are currently hiring at the moment, so we've got to wait for that to come through. Our ingredients are looking pretty good. We've got quite a bit in there. Now, our interior, we can actually put some more stuff in here. So at the moment, we currently have the Oriental Modern Table. We, I'm going to go with brick. I like that. So we've got a brick counter now. That's good. We're going to buy that. Done. That's in. Next up, let's get uh, some more interior. Let's have a look at our chairs. Now, I like the red bar chairs. They're pretty cool. The hardwood isn't too bad. What about the antique? No, I don't like that. What about... Ceilings. I like the dark wood, actually. Speaker, we're going to keep the normal speaker for now. Now, our lighting... I like the drum lights. We've got to be careful of our money, though. We're a little bit short on money. So we'll come back to all of this stuff a little bit later on. Uh, that Oriental Lantern's pretty nice. Where does that go? Okay, by the door. We'll uh, we'll leave that as it is for now. Obviously, those chairs are going to need to change for sure. Hello. Momo the cat. That's nice. Right, what else can we do on our phone? Let's get our phone out. Let's see what else we can grab. Marine car. That's just the cards. Music. Eco Watcher. This is our, for our research. So we're going to deliver that. Pink seashell. That's done. Forgot about this as well. So starfish, marine plants, fossils... Remove jellyfish and the invasive fish, the red lionfish. We can go for that this evening and, and serve some of them up. So let's get back to the boat and then we'll start heading off to do some of these extra quests. I don't know if we're going to get any further here tonight. No, we're not. We're going to get straight down into the dive. And this is all about hunting, getting new fish, picking up some items. So we do need to find some more starfish. So that's going to be our next task. And uh, then we'll go back to the bar and do our usual day-to-day -day evening service. Right, okay, we're down. We're in the giant blue hole. There's a starfish for us already. That's good. And we've got a brown seashell there. And then moving on. Rope. And then we'll just see if we can find some of those red lionfish. I think that's going to be a nice easy one for us. See if we get any new... Just another cheap Japanese sword, which I'm not too fussed about. More seashells. And that, uh, yeah, okay, we need blue seashells, I've just seen, for a marine car quest. Get that enhanced harpoon tip. And then we'll keep moving down. Puffer fishers there, there's a blue seashell there. Excellent. Some scrap iron. And there should be some starfish somewhere. A little bit further down, I would imagine. And, of course, we've got to watch out for... There's a blue seashell. And I think we can probably deliver that right... No, we can't access our phone, obviously, while we're under the water. That would be very silly. There's a lionfish. We're going to get you now. Oh, I set that up so nicely. Right, okay. Got him. Oh, no. Squid inked. Now we've got this guy on my tail. I'm going to turn around and harpoon him now, though. Nice. Okay, so having an enhanced harpoon tip with level 2 allows us to catch these fish pretty seamlessly, so that is good. Got a weapon here. Hopefully it's one that we haven't yet unlocked. Flame harpoon tip. Oh my, that's going to be nice. Alright, I'm not seeing any more lime fish down here. Can we get another like little shoal of them? We're about to hit our limits. There's a barracuda. He's going to come for us now. Got him. 
I, I really have no idea what that uh, tooltip was telling me to do. I don't know if it was mashing both of those buttons success, like repetitively or what. Or maybe a, a, a multiple choice. <laughs> One's correct, one isn't. Okay, right, that's good. Let's keep going. We'll see if we can find anything else down here. We're getting a little bit close to our depth. There's a barracuda here. We'll kite him away from the uh, squid, and then we'll turn and fire. Okay. Ah, right, okay, you just push them both. That's nice. Actually, that's pretty easy. Let's go for another barracuda, then. It's probably going to take us up to our weight limit, so... Yeah, that does take us to our weight limit. What are you... You're not nice, I know that. Is that a, um, what are they called? I've forgotten what they're called. It's a shark, type of shark. Sword, 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 swordfish. Swordfish? Probably. Uh, we'll get this oxygen anyway, it's gonna help us get to the surface and then can't really grab anything more, so we're gonna use the escape pod to get ourselves out of here. Not as uh, productive as I thought, but we did get the two, uh, the three barracudas, I think. So that gives us a nice, income for the evening and we can just get that barracuda on the menu get it all set up and then we will open for business and then we'll see what our next quest is got quite a bit of stuff there though we did reach a, a new best depth we weren't down as long as usual we caught five fish and obtained uh, 11 items altogether. pretty good going uh, and we can get all of these fish in the tank to give bancho a nice day and a nice night at the sushi restaurant we've also got some new applicants so we can bring those in and uh, that will definitely help us out because we are able to hire them now to work tonight we'll take on uh, that quest we'll deliver that and we can work on getting i think it's pink seashells is our last one for that one removing jellyfish and uh, killing a few more red lionfish will be a good one and researching starfish, which we are kind of getting somewhere with, but we do have a, a fair way to go. I think that's pretty good for the evening. Let's go back to Bancho's Sushi, and we will uh, get ready for our evening's work. Hopefully we'll be able to get a staff member in to work tonight, and that should see us have a really good evening of service. Oh, hello there. Who's this? VIP, Vincent the Gourmet. This is you from the TV show star, The Chef. Today I've come to the seaside bar that's all the rage on Cookster, Bancho Sushi. In this sushi bar that's famous for its exotic sushi, we have with us the legendary sushi expert, Vincent Yamaoka. I am Vincent Yamaoka. Hello Vincent, how would you define sushi? It's a very simple dish, there's only rice, vinegar, wasabi and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients, however, simple does not mean easy. Listen, how good the ingredients are, how they were stored and aged, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked and how it was molded. All those things matter in the art of sushi. Yes, I see. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Bancho Sushi is famous for? The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Below that, the olive flounder and amberjack with white and red meat, all verified ingredients, you understand. To dare to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that existed from the Edo era. Regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. You have once criticized California rolls as not being real sushi. We're curious to see what your opinion on Bancho sushi will be. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is the owner, Bancho. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, he, he only speaks to his cooking. Leave him alone. He is a master. What are you going to try? Excuse me. Something to surprise him. Two days. All right. We've got two days now. Two days to impress this gourmet aficionado, and we need to come up with something really good. Sea grapes and white spotted jellyfish. Limestone cave about 100 meters down. All right. So we've got gourmet's Vince, gourmet Vincent's challenge to do. That's going to be one for a, uh, a future episode, I think. So we've got salt. So that's a start. Um, let's uh, get some staff. Adding a staff member. I don't have any in the waiting room. But we have definitely... Let's hire. Okay, what have we got? We've got Davina. And Ohoku, who we can't actually afford, even though he's very good at cooking. Davina, on the other hand, is not great at anything. But I'm going to hire her. 
because she's inexpensive and we can at least uh, you know we we don't want to put her in the kitchen i want to put her in the dining area so that's going to save me a massive job in the dining area really i'm not going to have to do anything in there i don't know what procure means i think it means she's going to go off and get us ingredients so that's fine we can uh keep her for now and see how she gets on give her a a, a, um, a period of uh what do they call it <laughs> like <laughs> you'll save the shop will you i don't think you will Okay, right. Um, we'll give her, I can't remember, a, a period of kind of getting to know the place. Right, our Holic and Hind. We're going to bring in just the one. We're going to manage that. We're going to auto supply and we will um, add ingredients. No, we won't. We'll uh, leave it on like that. Okay, right. Next up, we want to use the, where is it? Where is it? Our Titan Trigger Fish Sushi we'll put in and we will auto supply that. Then we want to bring in the Sea Goldie Sushi, because it's a fairly inexpensive one. And we'll auto-supply that. And then, um, where is it? Great Barracuda. This was a popular one. So we're going to auto-supply that. And then here we've got another one, which will go with uh, some ingredients that we're running out of. Let's go with the uh, Narrow Bard Spanish Mackerel Sushi. It was a popular one, so um, we'll auto-supply that. Now then... What else can we add to these? Can we enhance the Great Barracuda one? We can. We can bring that up to level two. Oh, I've got another one here that I can put in. We'll uh, bring in the Pyramid Butterfly Fish Sushi as well. And we'll auto-supply that. So we've got some cheap options, some mid-range options, and then one very expensive option. That's a decent menu. I think that'll do. And then we can actually get ourselves open for business. Let's go. Okay, here we go. What's uh, Dave, you, you're just going to hang out over by the wasabi and, and serve that up. Or maybe just do the tea. I think that would probably be a good shout. Dave's coming along. He's going to do the tea. Don't worry. Right, okay. Excellent. Perfect four. Right, you. Let's move, Dave. We've got a lot of service to do here. Come on, Bancho. Hmm. Excellent. Right. How are our servers doing? Our servers aren't doing... Oh, maybe we need to uh, shift some people into the kitchen. Let's do that now. Um, let's move uh, Davina... Oh, you're in action. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, we just have to go with it and hope that uh, Bancho can really get his act together and give us some good sushi. Okay, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. There you go. Right. Okay, excellent. Uh, we're going to clean this up. And I'll clean over here. Right, we're having a rough night here, guys. We uh, Our reputation has improved, but it is not without issue. Somebody's going to leave at the back there unless we get over to them quickly. Who did this? Oh, here, you can have it. <laughs> yeah, this isn't good. This is not good. We've got to get this over to a customer very quickly. Yeah, we're, we've not done so well there. Our service is certainly getting a bit of an insult. He was having this. It's going in the bin. <laughs> All right, we didn't do so well. Maybe we definitely should have had a staff member working in the kitchen to support Pancho. That's uh, given us a little bit of an issue. But, you know, we're not doing too badly there. I think we uh, we had a decent night. We made some money, but uh, not every customer was served in time. What's going on down here? We've got some sea people. Are we going to be able to translate these at any point? Oh, no. Oh, no! Um. Well, I think that's a good place to leave it. Uh, we are now on to day seven. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.